Hello and welcome to Morten's Corner. Today we'll be talking about basic templating in uh, Kegler and Atene. And the scope of today will be uh, how you can change your company logo and how you can add a custom word and PowerPoint template to, to your Clickland projects. So in Clickland and Atene, in your settings for your project, you have a publishing template and uh, the default layout will be uh, your portal here. So what's nice about that is that this is actually where you upload the logo. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab a file from my computer. There we go. I will put it in my common assets folder. And uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and save those changes. Then we should see the logo change. There we are. Now, um, for the Word and PowerPoint specifically, uh, you have them down here. So let's click on Word, go to Theme, and here you can see uh, the template default. You just choose Custom Theme, and you can then download the template here. Let's go ahead and do that. There we are. So let's go ahead and open that up. So here we have our uh, our default template. Um, and yeah, here you can just change it. You have the table of content and between here the content will go there is a click on bookmark for that and yeah basically this is your license name and the name of the recording then you have your uh, logged in user and then you have your uh, your corporate logo out here let's go ahead and uh, change that logo so let's just change it to um to the one we had previously here we go so that looks great. Let's go ahead and save this. There we are. So now that's ready. Let's go ahead and upload that file. And let's place it in the common assets folder. There we go. Let's save the changes. And here we are. Now that's that. Um, so basically that's how you do with the word for the PowerPoint is exactly the same thing. So same menus, uh, same procedure. Now the content itself, how you adjust both the word and the PowerPoint is a little bit different. Um, I will open up the PowerPoint, uh, as an example. So, you know, basically what you'll do in your PowerPoint. So let me just bring that up. In your PowerPoint, um, this is the default format. So this slide is used when you have a click on step, then you have a slide uh, when you have a note with a picture and or a note without a picture. Um, and this is for a bookmark and this is for a group with bullet list and this is for a group with a number list, etc. So it needs these slides in order to know exactly what it needs to uh, to input. So basically what you'll do when you create your PowerPoint, so you will open your corporate design. Let's pretend this is your corporate design. So what you'll do is just, you'll copy the slides over, copy those and throw them into your corporate design here somewhere. There we are, that's it. Uh, so on the first slide, you can of course put the, the name like this. You remember that from the word. Um, so now we'll say tech design, the name of the work instruction, and then uh, the different slides will be used uh, according to uh, their content type. Um, and you can of course just you know delete any missing slides you don't want and keep your thank you slide if you want that. So that is basically how you do the PowerPoint. It's quite easy. One thing I will remind you though is to uh, do go to your design, uh, sorry, do go to your um, your slide master and make sure that you delete uh, slides that you don't need from your slide master because otherwise every single document you produce with FitLearn uh, will contain those slide masters too and they will just be increased in file size. So do delete the ones you don't need. Now for the word itself, um, there is one thing you should note and basically that is that the word styles in use they are the one listed on the screen here. 
Um, heading run through seven, those are the, 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 the sections you uh, create in your work instructions. And then of course you have the hyperlink, that's when you link to anything. Normal is your normal body text. And then you have list bullet and list number. Those are used for uh, the groups respectively. So uh, that's, uh, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much that. Now, um, in your template for your, uh, for your project, let's just switch back to that. You have a default project template or you can add a new configuration. So you can have multiple templates in one project and then you can apply it to your structure uh, later. I will go through that in a structure video coming up. So to summarize, basically uh, in the word template, make sure you use the click one template as a base because um, that will make sure that you, know, you, you have all the styles you need and that you have the content bookmark you need and stuff like that. You could also experiment with importing and exporting your styles from, um, from the click one template and then import them into your own document and kind of build it up. Um, but uh, before you deploy anything uh, as, as a content template, make sure you test it. Uh, do a test where you utilize all the options from the editor and then make a test to make sure that all the function works as intended uh, in, your, uh, in your template. For the PowerPoint part, uh, you can just copy the slides across. That's pretty much what you need. And again, confirm everything is looking the way it should by, um, by using all, a, a document that has all the different options uh, uh, in, in its work instructions, just like the Word. So uh, kind of have a, um, a validation recording that has everything so you can use that for your, uh, for your qualification. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you very much for what, watching and as always, have a wonderful day.